Good day, parents, family members, guests, teachers, administrators, and graduates. It is an honor to celebrate this grand occasion with you. Graduates, I commend you on this successful portion of your journey. You began this expedition many years ago with the desire to get to today, your graduation day. But it didn't just happen with desire alone. It took studying, perseverance, sacrifice, and extra effort given the circumstances that you faced over the past two years. Through the closing of schools, virtual and hybrid learning, and all of the other adjustments you have endured, you stayed focused, you kept your eye on the prize, and you followed through. Along the way, you were directed by some dedicated and wise tour guides, your families, teachers, administrators, and of course, our community, all of whom contributed to the success that you have accomplished. Whether you are headed to the job market or continuing your education, I encourage you to set goals and strive to achieve them throughout your journey. This will ensure your continued growth and success. As you continue on your path, I leave you with some advice on success as shared by Larry Chengis. Success is doing the best you can in as many ways as you can. It is being just and honest and true, not in a few things, but in everything you do. Always look ahead and never look back. Believe you can make all your dreams come true. Always believe in the best you can be and have faith in the things that you do. Never give up and think that you're through, for there's always tomorrow and a chance to begin brand new. It is in dreaming the greatest dreams and seeking the highest goals that we build the highest tomorrows. There's no limit to the goals you can attain or the success you can achieve. Your possibilities are as endless as your dreams. Whatever it is you seek in life, whatever your dreams and what you hope to achieve, whatever you try to reach, whatever you plan, can all be yours if you only believe you can. As you reach for the goals you would like to achieve, may you find all the strength you will need to meet every challenge one step at a time until the day when you proudly succeed. Congratulations on your growth and your journey Class of 2022, I wish you all the best. My warm and thoughtful words cannot compare to the hardship that you overcame as high school students. What I ask of you is to continue to lead by example while providing direction, purpose, and motivation, and not one at the expense of the other. Congratulations, happy graduation, and I salute you. Hello and to the distinguished class of 2022, congratulations. Today, I can truly say great things are happening in Newport News Public Schools, and I am very proud of you. I am proud of your academic accomplishments and your civic, club, and athletic activities. I am proud of how you stood up and stood out to uplift and support one another. I am proud of how well you managed your challenges for the past two years. I am proud of your commitment and your determination. I am proud to join your family and friends in recognizing you, the class of 2022. I leave you with some words of advice. This is your life. Be the change agent for others. Be a positive role model for your brothers and sisters. Take the lead in a project or report. Participate in open discussion. Your opinion needs to be heard. Be on time and be prepared. Be honest and keep your integrity. Assist others whenever you get a chance. And when you reach the top, send the elevator back down to help someone get where you are. Stay focused and you will be successful. Congratulations on your achievement and best wishes for a prosperous future. I know that I'm very proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations to the class of 2022. It is an honor to share this special occasion with you as we celebrate your educational accomplishments. We have been through a challenging time navigating the unknown effects and restrictions of a global pandemic. And the class of 2022 has certainly shown us what it means to remain committed to a goal with perseverance, dedication, and hard work. This journey has included rigorous coursework, high expectations, and service to the community. 
under the guidance of our great teachers and staff and the dedicated leadership of the school board. Our graduates have mastered academic requirements, competed in sports and academic competitions, served our community and schools, and developed the skills necessary to be productive citizens. During the course of their high school careers, Newport News Public Schools has continued to expand opportunities to give our students the knowledge and skills they need to graduate, college, career, and citizen ready. Today's celebration means many different things for each of us. For you, the students, a graduation is the conclusion of a chapter in your lives that began years ago in kindergarten. You are now looking with eyes wide open at the adult world you'll soon be joining. For parents, grandparents, friends, and other relatives, graduation is a time of joy and satisfaction in knowing that your loved one has reached a significant milestone in their young lives. Families, I thank you for your confidence in our schools and for supporting our young people. It has truly been a successful partnership. To our faculty and staff, I thank you for the support and guidance that you've provided over the years, especially the professionalism and dedication you've displayed in helping students return to learn this year. Your daily work will be reflected in all of the future accomplishments of these graduates. We're extremely proud that Newport News Public Schools has opened doors for thousands of students. Now we encourage the class of 2022 to move forward and step into the future. Thank you, best wishes, and enjoy the ceremony.
Good morning and welcome, welcome to the graduation ceremony for Denby High School, class of 2022. I am Michelle Huffstetler, proud principal of Denby High School. We are so excited to celebrate the class of 2022. It is now fitting that we begin our 2022 graduation ceremony with a tribute to our great nation with the presentation of colors by Denby High School's Army JROTC. I ask that everyone please stand and remain silent for the presentation of the colors. During this time, all gentlemen are asked to please remove your caps and everyone please remain standing for the national anthem played by the Denby High School Symphonic Winds. Our national flag symbolizes the strength of our nation, its history, and the sacrifice of our people. It has stood as a symbol of freedom and national pride to people around the world. As such, we treat it with solemn dignity and utmost respect. The United States flag is referred to as the national color. It is carried by a color bearer and is always guarded by two color guards. It is an honor to be selected as a member of this team. Today, our color guard consists of Color Guard Commander Cadet Sergeant Major Ryan Soto Davila car carrying the United States flag. Cadet Captain Leonaris David Padilla carrying the school flag. The two color guards are Cadet Captain Amanda Labanino Gonzalez and Cadet Major Ayanna Boyd.
Graduates and guests, please be seated. To our families and guests in the stands, we ask that you remain in the stands and limit movement during the graduation ceremony. Good morning. Welcome families and friends to the 2022 Denby High School graduation commencement ceremony. Many dedicated school division officials have provided the support necessary to bring us to today's graduation ceremony, including the superintendent and the school board. We are honored to have many of these individuals present today. Please join me in recognizing Superintendent Dr. George Parker. Dr. Parker is increasing student access to college and career opportunities and expanding business partnerships to ensure that all students graduate college, career, and citizen ready. Also joining us today are several members of the school board and the school district administrative team. School board chairman Douglas Brown. Mr. Brown is the director of data science for a software company. As a product of public schools and a former educator, he believes in the power of public education to drive economic growth. Mr. Brown has served on the school board since 2014. School board vice chair Lisa Searles Law. Ms. Searles Law is a science education administrator at Jefferson Lab. She is a member of several professional and community organizations and is a strong proponent of STEM education and teacher professional development. Ms. Searles Law was elected to the school board in 2018. School board member Rebecca Amen. Mrs. Amen is an attorney specializing in estate planning, trust, business, and tax law. She is a graduate of Newport News Public Schools. Mrs. Amen was elected to the school board in May 2020. School board member, Dr. Terry Best. Dr. Best is a retired Newport News Public Schools administrator and a graduate of Newport News Public Schools. She is actively involved in many community activities and is an advocate of youth development. She was elected to the school board in 2018. School board member Marvin Harris. Mr. Harris is a training executive for the Department of Defense with 39 years of continuous service to our nation. He retired from the U.S. Army after 22 years of service. He is a strong advocate of early childhood education. He has served on the school board since 2016. School board member Gary Hunter. Mr. Hunter is the Director of Development at Hampton University. He is a member of numerous community organizations and is a strong proponent of preparing students to be college and career ready. He has served on the school board since 2014. Also with us this morning, Chief of Staff Rashard Wright, Chief Academic Officer Tina Manglapmott, and also present today, we would like to recognize Chief of Newport News Police, Steve Drew, is present with us. And Councilman Dave Jenkins. To begin our ceremony, we will now have class ref reflections by your 2022 class president, Micah Hughes. After graduation, yes. Micah plans to attend the apprentice school to pursue welding. Good morning, students, teachers, faculty, staff, and distinguished guests. My name is Micah Hughes, and I'm the senior class president. When I was asked to give this speech, I was encouraged to give a reflection of the last four years we've had in high school. As I looked back on these last four years, I've realized the rough and challenging times we all endured. We had COVID take away some of the best years of our lives. For my athletes, students involved in the band, and those who are in various clubs and activities, we had seasons canceled, games never played, concerts that never happened, and long-awaited ring dance and other events that were all taken from us in an instant. And for over a year, you had to cope with that. Furthermore, right when things were getting back to normal, we heard news of a school shooting in a fellow Newport News school, the day when it felt like the world had stopped. 
we had both friends and family affected by this tragic event. Over these last few years, we've also lost loved ones who we never got the chance to say goodbye to, such as our own aviation teacher, Ms. Sanchez, and some who even walked the same halls as us and were close to many of you sitting here today. These last four years, I've lost multiple people close to me, and I know most of you all have as well. Though it may seem like the world was turning against us these last few years, we have much to be grateful for. Some of the best memories of our lives were made in these last few years. Attending pep rallies, dances, sporting events, those late nights on the weekend, spirit weeks, driving for the first time and getting your license, Fortnite, back when that was a thing, TikTok, which started getting popular our freshman year, yet, to this day, I'm still scrolling through it before I go to bed most nights. Coming back to school after COVID with a brand new aviation academy, field trips, college visits, prom, our senior trip, the three days we spent doing graduation rehearsals, and so much more. So as you walk across this stage and pick up your diplomas, know that they do not only show that you graduated high school, but that you took these last four years full of heartbreak and disappointment and came out stronger while making the absolute best out of it. And now it is my pleasure to introduce you to Denby High School's 2022 salutatorian, Joseph Gesink. <laughs> Joseph plans to attend the University of Mary Washington and plans to pursue studies in environmental science. Good morning, and welcome to the 2022 Denby High School graduation ceremony. Before I begin, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out today. I'd also like to thank my teachers, guidance counselors, parents, and everyone else who's helped me get to this point today. The pandemic has been hard on everyone, but I'm most certainly appreciative of the hard work that administrators and teachers have put into making our school year as seamless as possible. When we think of some of the hardest jobs in the world, we may think of astronauts or deep sea oil drillers. But in my opinion, some of the hardest jobs exist right in front of us, in this very Coliseum, teaching. Often an overlooked and thankless job, teachers serve a crucial role in our community. And for this reason, I'd like to give a quick round of applause to all the faculty, staff at Denby, and as for educators as a whole. The last two years have been nothing short of a nightmare. Media outlets saturated with melancholy, migrating from one distressing article to the next. And to top it all off, the pandemic. It has robbed us of our loved ones and a normal high school experience, leaving a crisis of mental health in its wake. Unrelenting, the future feels bleak. For the last two years, we've been crushed, our psyche ground into a fine dust. But through it all, we're still here to walk the stage today. And for that, I just want to say that I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. We will be the change makers of the future. In this room, I see tomorrow's doctors, engineers, teachers, and politicians. Not only that, but I also see musicians and artists. Many of us may not have a distinct plan for the future. And that's OK. It's almost unheard of to have it, it to have your future figured out by this point. This indecisiveness can feel paralyzing, especially in what we've been told a million times are uncertain times. Despite it all, however, we continue to fight, push forward towards our dreams. I see you. I see your struggle. And it's incredible and motivating to see the almost tangible levels of perseverance in this room. It is not the critic who counts not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, uh, sorry, <clears throat> who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. Theodore Roosevelt. I used to be afraid, 
afraid of what the future holds. But after seeing the potential that exists in this room, I am assured that we will conquer the dilemmas that, conquer, that plague contemporary America and the world at large. Right here, right now, we are the man in the arena. Take this moment and seize it, for today it is yours. Thank you so much, and welcome to the 2022 Denby High School graduation ceremony. It is now my pleasure and honor to introduce our 2022 valedictorian, Bryce Spain. After graduation, Bryce plans to pursue getting his commercial pilot's license. Thank you, faculty and staff, teachers, parents, and mentors. Hello, class of 2022. I'm the last speech before you all graduate. I can't believe I'm standing we're here with all of you today. It feels like just yesterday we were playing Floor is Lava in our living rooms, attending the eighth grade graduation ceremony, walking down the hall between the gym and auditorium looking for our first class, logging on to Zoom classes as well. Most of us don't feel grown up and won't for about 10 more years, but now, according to the government, we are adequately prepared for our future. <laughs> Most of us are adults, or soon will be, and adults do adult things. Vote, get jobs, hopefully one that can be a career. Go to college, pay taxes and utility bills. Enjoy museums because history, and history gets fun now. Avoiding debt like the plague or COVID. <laughs> Always taking the employer match and learning the tax implications on your contributions and profits when investing through a Roth versus traditional IRA. <laughs> All of our futures will look different, especially career-wise. Some are going to vocational skills, schools. Some already have jobs. Some are going to college. Some are going to college after going to college, doctors. And some will go to post-secondary schools. Whatever you do, ensure you enjoy it and that you're always giving 100% unless you're donating blood. OK, I must admit, it felt good when I was called into the office and told I was giving this speech for a few seconds. It felt good to be Patriot of the Month and Aviation Academy Student of the Year. It felt good to say I'm the captain and president of 10 sports and clubs and qualify for almost 20 regional championships. And win two of them, by the way. <laughs> but, this is a big but. The feelings these awards gave me were temporary. Nothing more than trophies sitting on a shelf and collecting dust. You'll never be happy for longer than a few seconds if you measure your life through meaningless achievements, trophies, the degrees you have achieved, or how much money you have. Instead, happiness comes from the individual experiences and moments in your life where you can truly see the positive impact you've had on others. Volunteering for youth development programs, being a positive role model, showing kindness to everyone, loving and respecting your spouse, carrying others' burdens, donating to charitable organizations, or even paying for struggling parents' gas or groceries, are all things you could positively, positively do to have a good impact on others. Success is best measured by the lives you've touched. President, Ken President Kennedy famously said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Everyone should look not to their own interests, but rather the interests of others. Finally, as Ferris Bueller said at the end of his movie, I'm going to say at the end of my speech, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around every once in a while, you could miss it. Congratulations, Denby High School, class of 2022.
To the Newport News School Board, thank you for your attendance today and the support, guidance, and dedication you have provided to our schools in working to improve the educational experiences of our students, especially during this time of this pandemic. Dr. Parker, thank you for creating a vision of education that is all-encompassing. We know that through the strategic plan of Journey 2025, that students can attain a level of success in all areas of their lives. To parents, teachers, and staff, thank you for your hard work, dedication, and support every day. We know that, through, uh, we know that and recognize that your unwavering support has helped shape the young adults that are seated here today. To our graduates of the class of 2022, you are the epitome of resilience. When you started at Denby High School as ninth graders, you had a certain excitement that comes with starting high school. I know that it was particularly disappointing when school shut down on March 13th, 2020. There is no way to talk about your journey without mentioning the pandemic. Life as we knew, knew it ceased. Who knew that our lives and all of the routines in it would come to a screeching halt? That is why I'm so glad that we were able to return to some normalcy before you graduated. We were able to participate in sports again, very much enjoyed seeing you all play, and have, we had a prom this year, and that was fantastic as well. You have kept a brave face in the midst of uncertain times and many waves of change. As I reflected on what I wanted to talk about in my speech to you, I aspired to bring you a sense that you are the factor that can make the difference. You see, Denby High School is not the schoolhouse building that you have entered these past few years. Denby High School is each person making a contribution, a contribution in his or her own, own unique way. You amaze me with your talents and gifts from students completing flight hours on simulators or otherwise, and engineering lockers that were flown to the space station to those who participated in many sports this year, I say thank you. To our faithful cheerleaders, ROTC cadets, band orchestra, and chorus members, I say thank you. For all of the students who participated in clubs and activities and volunteer hours, I say thank you. Most of you transitioned back into full-time in-person learning. 12 of you took on the challenge of finishing, finishing your high school career early to matriculate to Thomas Nelson for early college. There are so many ways that you have contributed to our community. I certainly have not covered all of them. Denby High School students continue to take SOL tests, AP exams, and benchmark tests. This graduating class has earned more than $11.5 million in scholarships. That is worth applauding. One of our graduating seniors, which, who was featured in a, um, a news article, has earned all by himself $8 million. That is quite an accomplishment. What's more is the wonderful interactions that I've had with you this past year. Having only been at Denby for one year, I cannot say enough about how quickly I was able to become a patriot because of you. And for all those reasons, I say thank you. You are Denby High School. Now I want to challenge you to become a new part of a new entity. Whether you go to college, join the military, or join the workforce, you will be a contributing member to that organization. No matter where you go or what you decide to do, be as much a part of that organization as you were here. Remember to always be stronger together to achieve success for you and something larger than you. I will leave you with this quote from Nelson Mandela. What counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived. It is what difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the significance of the life that we lead. Thank you and congratulations, Denby Class of 2022. The graduation ceremony represents the culmination of a 13-year-long journey marked with commitment, perseverance, and excellence. It is a dignified event that demands our utmost respect and reverence. In keeping with the long tradition of this ceremony, we ask that we honor our graduates, their achievements, 
and the ceremony with respect and dignity. During the calling of graduate names, please applaud our graduates with respect and refrain from extensive ce uh, celebrations that will prevent students and families from hearing the next name that it, as it is called. It is very important that each family and graduate hears their name called during the ceremony. As a reminder, this ceremony is a televised and streamed event that will be available to parents who could not be with us today, including members of the military who are defending our freedoms. Please help us provide a quality program by refraining from behaviors that take away from the dignity of this event. Denby High School's Class of 2022, please stand. By the authority vested in me as your principal, by the Commonwealth of Virginia, and by the School Board of Newport News, I now declare that each of you has successfully completed the course of study required for a high school diploma and are graduates of Denby High School. As a symbol of this important transition, you may now turn your tassels. Please be seated. As the first row of graduates stand and proceed to the stage to receive their diplomas, please allow me to explain the cords and tassels. The tassels, the cords, and the hoods and stoles worn by our graduates have very special meaning. The gold tassels recognize students who are graduating with honors. Graduates of distinction are also wearing gold cords. The scholar stoles are worn by members of the National Honor Society, early college, and early career programs. The red, white, and blue cords recognize students who were a part of our Denby High School Aviation Academy. These symbols are part of the regalia worn in the ceremony to recognize and honor the individual accomplishments of our graduates while in high school. We will now begin the awarding of diplomas. Kimani Taishe Adams. Jacob William Aiello. Asia Aliyah Alexander. Erthel Amari Alfred III. Basil Wasim Aurifai. Ayana Nayeli Alvarez. Amanda Marie Ambuter. Jakea Armari, I apologize. Jakea Armani Ashley. Kishan Uzreel Astrup. Kamaria Lillian. Kamaria Lillian Kimberly Banks. Tatiana Ayana Banks. Ethan Michael Bartholomew. Tony Bojidad Begovic. Casey Joseph Bellardi. Kelly Ray Bennett. Hatem Berdos. Jakai Jabbar Bibbs. Omar Khalid Berkdar. Jamari Zykel Blunt Shaw. Emily Rose Blymeyer. Hope Madison Breeding. Nadia May Bynum. Tyler Joel 
Campbell. Jordan May Caraway. Enrique Manuel Carrasquillo. Kadarius D. Carter. Eve Lachey Carey. Cruz Adrian Cervantes. Eloy Chavez. Jaden Sincere Christmas. Michaela Jade Clark. Destiny Teresa Clayton. Christiana Nicole Clayton. Christina Marie Clewis. Shakira Andeshe Diamond Cockrell. Destiny Alexis Cole. Ian Patrick Cole. Ramel Abdul Rashad Collins. Rena Latina Cook. Alexandra Coronado Chavez. Jordan Antonio Crawford. Said Alif Cruz Martinez. Rashad Stephen Cypress. Ivan Anthony DeSig. Andrew Thornton Duvall. Jalen Elijah Davis. Jael Isaac Davis. Jordan Isaiah Davis. Ravon Marquise Davis. Deshaun Isaac Dean. Salvador Alejandro De Jevis. George Jonathan Edward Delat Jr. Christian Dale Dixon. Jamarius Maurice Dubray. Talia Lakitha Durham. Michael Ikena Ijinwa. Abdallah Mohammed Abdallah Jackson El Rahal. William Tyler Farley. Keandre Jabril Fennel. Nathaniel Theodore Florentin. Jelani Diari Francis. Trayvon Dwayne Frank. Cameron Lloyd Garcia. Sabrina Giassi. Joseph Gaysink. Sean Andrew Gibbs. Ashani Reina Gilliam. Abia Susanna Ixpata. Jace Christian Shiflet Graham. Damarian Tyree Gray. Xavier Raman Green. Jeremiah Gross. Jelani Talia Guevara. Jermaine Clifton Hamilton Jr. Ethan Scott Hamrick. 
Jason Alexander Hargraves. Naraya Quine Hero. Xavier Michael Harris. Kamari Alonzo Hayes. Morgan Madison Christine Henderson. Dante Jason Dejan Hill. Zachary Paul Hollingshead. Tyreek Lamont Hooker. Darren Eugene Thompson, Jr. Malik Latif Hugh. Jemiah Janice Houston. Micah Hughes. Kivana Nicole Hurley. Tatiana Elaine Elise Herndon. Roger Cyril Isaac II. Antonio Jackson Jr. Yasminda Talia Antoinette Jackson. Ariana Alyssa James. Hadiat Jemshade. Isaiah Dexter Jeffers. Amani Rashid Johnson. Evan Blyes Johnson. Frank Francisco Johnson Jr. Jadon Xavier Johnson. Spencer Carl Johnson III. Jamel Bruce Jolly. Johanna Alonzi Jones. Alonzia. Tyreek Kenneth Jones. Gerald Jali Malik Knight. Carla Marie Kukta. Lashawn Darnell Lasha. Afia Kadiza Lawrence. Nathaniel Bora Lee. Tanaya Deshay Gray Lee. Ashton Jaquiz Lewis. Braden Hunter Lindy. Onyx James Little. Amari Jaqua Marshall. Dewan Marcel Martin Jr. Wanda Martinez. Makaya Jerica Imani Mason. Hunter Scott Mayu. Faith Nicole McCormick. Jalice Marie Melendez. Jason Jacob Miller. 
Nicholas Michael Miller. Rebecca Ruby Miller. Aliyah Nicole Mooring. Karima Guadalupe Morales Cervantes. Mason Alexander Morgan. So Meyer. Derek Julian Newton. Dylan Din Wynn. Carter Scott Nickerson. Khalil J. Rod Noel. Richard Martin Nunes Jr. Jahira Orozco. Peyton Elizabeth Page. Makai Jakari Parker. Alejandro Francisco Pereira Ramos. Juan Jesus Perez. Andrew Tyler Petefish. Tu Huang T. Fan. Timothy Ray Pratt Jr. Caitlin Diane Pressgraves. Michaela Alexandra Prince Montiel. Alemilis Ramos. Aaron Jerome Randolph Jr. Schweib Ahmad Raufi. Diamond Nijay Richardson. John A. Lynn Richardson. Joseph Daniel Ridley. Amareli Sofia Rios Tabila. Peyton Olivia Ringenbach. Nairobi Khalil Robinson. Abnelis Carolina Roca Rios. Christian Alexander Rogers. Catherine Rodriguez Sony. Ishelis Merlis Rosarios. Rebecca Annette Rourke. McKaylen Nicole Savage. Azaria Danae Sewell. Amarian Antonio Sims. A blessing, Yeshine Ann Janelle Sinclair. Malika Donche Singleton. Christopher Richard Smith. Donisha Monique Smith. Gabrielle Nichelle Smith. Bryce Spain. Justin Dante Spann. Jemaya Andriana Starks. Treviana Quache Stanton Fuller. Jayla Zaire Sykes. Malik Anthony Davinon Skies. Luke Ryan Tanner. Aiden Matthew Taylor. Amir Robert Taylor. Mariana Dejanel Taylor Hill.
Tyree LaVar Thompson. Simone Shade Thornton. Nicole Taban Serrano. Jenny Jelani Torres Ketanania. Milani Charlene Singai. Jada Zamaria Twitty. Kiera J. Underwood. Rina Utman Zay. Damar Omar Basiana. Andrew Valera. Parker William Wagner. Diagene Elise Walcott. Shaney Lejean Walker II. Alasia Alira Washington. Kyra Sage Wesling. Amaria Lakaila White. Jalen Davion Williams. Deja Andrea Williams Boone. Andia Lachey Winbush. James Monte Winnigan. Samaya. Nikita Ale Alexandrovich Zikov. Congratulations to the Denby High School class of 2022. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. I ask that the audience please remain seated for the recessional. Graduates, pay attention carefully. You want to follow the marshals to recess. Much success to you, class of 2022. Go out and make your positive contribution.